quickly. I'm gonna explain this uh, roof rack setup that I just did. Uh, I got a base rack um, system, the rail, it's just the rails and they attach. And that's what I was most worried about. Basically for me, what I need is to put um, four by eight sheets of plywood for my business or drywall. You know, I got a handyman business, so to be able to put that stuff up there and tie it down easily. And so I'm not quite finished yet, but I did two of the crossbars today and um, I want to minimize the cost, but I did spend like about 300 on the base rack rails themselves. And then I'm just going to climb up here. I went to Home Depot and got the electrical slotted. Uh, this one's 14 gauge. I think you can get 12 gauge too, but 14 should be fine for what I need. And the cool thing about these slots is that one, you can um, put your S hooks through for your mounting straps. And two, uh, it's so easy to get all these little interconnectors and things that you can add on. So if you wanna connect um, different bars, maybe go vertical, there's 90 degree brackets, and they have these handy uh, nuts, nuts that slide in there. And then you um, put your bolt through. So a lot of you know, customization can be done. Now see, I've got two more opportunities here for bars and I'll probably buy another 10 foot section and cut it in half and put it there. I did 50 inch rails because I want uh, 48 inches wide for plywood and drywall. And um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, within the system, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't of the base rack, try to get zoomed in here. Um, it has two bolts going down into the roof in the regular locations, there's a rubber strip underneath to waterproof it. And the washers that are silver there under the bolts um, have a waterproof little O-ring type of thing sealed on to the washers top and bottom. So I've, I don't have a headliner in mind, so I can easily check. Oh, it's locked. Let's see if we can see in a little. I can easily check if there's leaks which we did have a hard rain last night and there were no leaks. So um, that's, I guess, a testament to this rack system and their little bit of ceiling that they have. But it would look a little better, I think, if, if these things were flush to the edges. But like I said, I need it full width for um, the four by eights. So that's why I did that. But overall, it seems pretty strong so far and I didn't have to pay 800 more dollars for the base rack platform that you can put on there because I really don't need a platform. I just carry four by sixes or four by fours and two by fours up there and some sheets of stuff. So that's what I did, pretty simple. Uh, the most inexpensive setup I could find besides going to, there's another company that has them. Uh, racks are like little mounting plates you can do, but that doesn't give you like a flat surface to go all the way across. Uh, so that's what I liked about this one. It's kind of built in that way. So yeah, have a good time guys. And let me know what you've done for your rack systems. If you send me a picture or post it if you can, uh, so I can see kind of what you've done to make a custom rack setup. Because I know you can always just go out and spend a thousand, two thousand dollars, but for me, just, I don't need all that extra stuff and extra weight. You know what I mean? All right.